Hey guys, Zoy here from the StarCraft Squad, bringing you Game 3 of Vile StarCraft, or Vile Psy StarCraft versus Vile Stealth. Spawning over here in the bottom left corner of Shakira's Plateau is, of course, Vile Stealth. And over here is the man that you all know really, really well, or hopefully really well, is Vile StarCraft, or Zy StarCraft. I always keep saying Zy StarCraft in the last two games. But Vile Psy StarCraft here, and... If you haven't seen his channel, check him out at youtube.com slash starcraft He uh, is a very... He's, he, picture my channel, except for 10 times bigger and Zerg-based. How I do a lot of Terran games. Um, he does a lot of... He's, he mainly casts his games, like I cast my games. But he's a very analytical Zerg caster. So it's, it's the Zerg version of my channel. So if you guys are tired of, like, you know, I get complaints from my Zerg players all the time. Like, you're always doing these analytical commentaries of your games as Terran and stuff. Uh, but you never really do ZVP and ZVZ. Well, go check out the Psy StarCraft channel. Um, he's very, very analytical when it comes to the Zerg games. And he's really smart about it. Um, he's definitely my favorite Zerg commentator out there. Uh, I do like Mr. Bitter a lot because he did do an interview with me as well, but I like Psy StarCraft a little bit more. He, he's just a really strong player. And he's not like the others, uh, like HD and Husky, where they play the game and they're both Master League, but Psy StarCraft takes the game seriously. He competes. He does really well in tournaments. He's actually won quite a few um, back uh, back in the day, so he does really well in those. Now we do have Pool and Gas going down for Vile Stealth. And then a hatch first from Psy Starcraft. And you can really just tell how confident Psy Starcraft is from his play. Um, all three games he's gone hatch first so far. And it's not because, you know, like, to go hatch first in ZBZ, you need to be very confident in the matchup. You have to be comfortable with any type of early pressure that you can hold, like, that can come from Zergs. Um, not all Zergs go hatch first, guys. There are several that just aren't going hatch first because they can't handle any early aggression from lots of lings or ling baneling and stuff. Sly Starcraft though, very confident Zerg player. He's able to hold off these forms of attack, which is very, very good. He, um, you know, he's, you know, ch like going with the metagame shifts and he's actually trying his hardest to be as best player as he possibly can. Now I do have ling speak being researched from Vile Stealth. He is still mining gas, so we're either going to be seeing a Roach Warren go down very soon. Oh, nope, he just forgot to pull guys out of gas. So we got 20 extra gas there. So it looks like we're seeing just a speedling build here. Now, will it be a quick expand? Will it be just a lot of lost speedlings trying to take out this hatcher? What will it be here? Now, we are starting to mine gas from Psy Starcraft, but where are we going to go from here? Where are we going to go? Are we going to go Roach Warren? What are we going to do? So we only have two guys in gas right now for Psy Starcraft. Um, he uh, does not have link speed researching yet. We do have the links moving across the map for stealth. We do have four links in production here for Psy. We have two on the field. We're getting that spine color very quickly here. But where are we going to go from this? Are we going to go for roaches? Are we going to go for speed links? 150 minerals has been hit right now. Links coming up into the, or the natural of Psy Starcraft. Good micro here from both players. Psy Starcraft losing his links just a little bit quicker though. We have one wing left here. Here are the queen. Here's the queen though. Uh, Vile Self is going to be losing all these links here needlessly. He just could not have fought, fought that queen here. There was no way he was going to take it out with just four weak links. Um, and we, we do have the Roach Warren being built here for Psy Starcraft. Now, like I said, the metagame shift went was originally you know we started off with Ling Bay Ling, but then people realized you know even though I'm a better player than my opponent. One little slip up can cause me to lose the game in Ling Bane Ling. So people started going roaches, and hey, look at this. Roaches are really good against Ling Bane Ling. They completely stop it. We got people like Sly Starcraft who take advantage of this. They go roaches. And then for a while it was like, okay, roach, 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 roach. Then the infestor became a big deal. And then that play was really fun for a while. You had people like Destiny who are really abusing the fact that infestors are really strong in the matchup. Um. Now we do have a bunch of speedlings coming in here for Vile uh, Stealth here. Sly Starcraft moving back his drones to wall off here. Spine collar going down. We have six roaches on the way here for Sly Starcraft. So he's going to be able to hold this quite well. Good transfusions on the spine collar. It is not going to go down. Great play from Sly Starcraft. This is a very confident player. He saw, he just scouted, he had his overlords in position. The lings ran up into the main of Sly Starcraft. He walled off completely. He did not panic. People would have freaked out there. That would have been like, oh no, they're in a hopeless situation here. But this is why Sy Starcraft is so good. He's very confident. He just kind of walled off here, just waited patiently, transfused this, and held with queens 
spine crawlers, and drones. That was a lot of lings that ran into the base here. And then we see Psy Starcraft here, who's now going lair tech. Now back to my original thought. You know, then we had Roach and Fester going wild for the metagame, and now the metagame's shifting again to where Roach and Fester is not as popular with Infester nerf. It's kind of like, well, it just takes even longer for my Fungal Growth to kill the Roaches than before. Now people are going Spire, and Mutalisk originally was a terrible idea in ZVZ. Terrible idea, but now people are like, we're pretty good, Mutalisk. Now that people know how to control them from playing in TVT for so long, or ZVT rather, um, and then people started using them in ZVP now, their mutal control has skyrocketed. They're not really afraid of queens, spores, rote hydras, or infestors anymore. They've gotten good at actually doing splits. Now we do have an engagement going on here. Um, Vile Stealth just needlessly throwing away Lings again. I don't know why he's trying to break this wall, just kind of throwing Ling, like banging his head against the wall. Um, income tab, guys. 38 to 36, so Vile Stealth actually keeping up on drones this game, which is very nice to see. Lair Tech is on the way for him. And here we go, like I said, metagame shifted. It's not Roach and Fester anymore. People are getting that quick spire. They've learned to control their Mutalisk. It's a great harassment tool. And like I said, people are actually learning not Marine splits anymore. People are learning how to do Mutalisk splits and avoiding those fungal growths, taking very minimal fungal damage there and not getting trapped anymore. Income tab shows 44 to 41 now. The reason Mutalis kind of weren't strong before is because, you know, Fungal Growth, guys, used to be 8 seconds. It's 4 seconds now. Does the same amount of damage, but um, when you get trapped for 8 seconds in your Mutalis, that's a terrible thing. That's why it wasn't ever really big before. But now we kind of just got this 4 second Fungal that when you split your Mutalis, it'll hit 2, but the rest will be okay. And then 4 seconds really isn't that bad. Income tab shows 51 to 49. So Vile Stealth, you know, he's droning his heart out right now. Trying to keep a lead here. Good overlord spread from Psy Starcraft. I mean, look at this. He's got the whole middle of the map in his line of sight. Now we do have a Spire on the way as well for Vile Stealth. Both people players have lots of minerals and gas saved up. Plus one weapon, or attacks rather, being researched for Psy Starcraft immediately. And Vile Stealth immediately scouts us. He's using that Overseer to get a little bit of scouting going on. He's like, okay, I know my opponent right now is going Mutalisk. And right now that's going to give Vile Stealth just kind of a slight advantage here. He is down on food. He's throwing down five Spore Crawlers right now. And right now, Sly Starcraft has no idea of this Spire. Uh, once we go to uh, Sly's Vision, he has not seen this main at all. So he has no clue what's going on. Third base here being built by Vile Stealth, and we don't have uh, any, you know, quick units over here. We just have roaches. So these Mulisk are going to be able to clean up these um, wings, but they're doing a lot of damage, picking off lots of drones here. Um, the Hatcher is going to be able to finish though, which is a good thing. But right now, this is just delaying Psy Starcast push. Um, both players are getting plus one weapon. Seven Mulisk on the way for Stealth. Two more Mulisk in production here for. Sai, and he is getting this third base up and running. Now we have a lot of spores here in the main for Vile Stuff, and we're getting a macro hatch from him instead. And Sai Starcast, now he's starting to go, okay. Okay, he knows the Mutalisk are on the way, so I'm right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up some overlords, just kind of contain him, try and keep him on two bases while he just macros up the standard Roach Ball that is very scary. Now we need to be very careful for Sai Starcraft because. These score cards are going to turn the tide in the battle for his opponent. Here comes the Muta swooping down. And if these guys take too much damage, like they have right here, Sly Starcraft's now at a disadvantage. He's down one Mutalisk. He's got, lost a lot of health. And now, Sly Starcraft's in a very scary situation. He's got all these overlords throughout the middle of the map. Engagement going on right here. Neither player has plus one yet. Oh, actually, Sai does have plus one yet, and it's actually kind of starting to show in this battle. Good micro from Stealth, though, getting Sai to chase down that last Mulisk and taking just a couple extra shots. And the food count is now evened up. We have 84 for Stealth, 91 for Sai Starcraft, income tab 67 to 48. So, uh, economically, Sai is actually really ahead, so that makes his army just a tad bit smaller now. We have Vile Stealth building a bunch of Lings right now, so we're going to be trying to see a two-base. Looks like it's going to be a very strong two-base Ling Mutalisk all-in. And we don't really have much of an answer here for Sy Starcraft. We do have this Hydra Den now, though, which is actually a very good idea. This is why this guy is so good. This is why he's, he's, his reaction, his thinking is very strong right now. Um, 
Would like to see him connect his creek bin as bases though with these hiders on the field now they are very slow. But that might not actually be the best choice. Um, you do have 14 hiders here about to pop. Mulesk in the main. Um, going to be getting devoured pretty quickly here. Mulesk coming down. And there's a lot of Mulesk here guys and they all have plus one. Um, these hiders have plus one as well. Creep spread is going on right now, so Psy Starcraft is going to connect the creep between his bases. Because now that these Mutalisk are on the map, um, you know, Vile Stealth, he's able to control the map, really, at this point. And we need to be very careful here. We have a bunch of, we have Ling uh, Mutalisk versus Roach Hider right now. And we don't have very many Roaches, so these Mutalisk are going to be in a very scary situation here. Lots of Lings running up, trying to get a good surround on this queen, taking out very quickly here. Here comes the Roaches, here comes the Hiders. Gonna try and kill off all of these links here. Drones falling up. Income tap 62 to 40 right now. Still in a good position right now. And all these links are going on hold position. Vile Stealth just kind of throwing them away. Mutus going into the main though. Fourth Psy Starcraft. Gonna try and do a lot of damage here. We do have one Spore Caller here, one Queen. And Psy Starcraft this creep is starting to go out here. We do have Hydras right here, four right now. Spore Caller is trying to get some damage done here. But Vile Stealth is just targeting down Overlords. And so the Psy Starcraft is extremely supply block right now, 150 over 120. He's got to build so many overlords just to be unsupply blocked here. And Psy Starcraft said, screw it, I am supply blocked all the hell. Let's just end the game right now. These Mulus aren't going to be able to kill me. I've got spores up. i got uh, Mulus on the way. I'll be able to kill this off. But this guy is going to die. Food counts 97 to 147. And this is the move Psy Starcraft needed to do. We have so many spine crawlers here, though. We do have plenty of roaches out to defend this. Mutalus coming home, realizing, oh no, Psy Starcraft is going to just try and do a base trade here. Great micro here from Psy Starcraft, just walking right up the ramp, destroying all these spines here. Hydralis doing so much damage to me. They've got a little Mutal sandwich here, but Hydralis are just going to eat these guys alive. And oh man, Roach is still alive, cleaning up the links. Hydralis cleaning up the Mutalus. Food count is 60 to 131, and Psy Starcraft is in a commanding position right now to just take the game. And right now there's a GG from Stealth. And Sly Starcraft, just, just like the guy's decision making is so quick. You go plus one Mutalisk. Realize he is going Mutalisk and you just go Hydras right off the fly. Completely dropping his tech pack for another one is just brilliant. Sly Starcraft dominating another game. So make sure you guys go check out his channel, youtube.com slash Starcraft. Especially if you're playing a Zerg. He does a lot of Zerg cast. He casts his games himself. You can learn a lot about Zerg from this guy. Even if you don't play Zerg, go watch his channel because if you're having trouble in ZB TBZ or PVZ, you can learn a lot about the matchup from this guy. Make sure you guys subscribe to mine. Follow me on Twitter, twittercom Starcraft Squad, um, and check out my clan, PMSClan.com. I'm part of the H2O division. And thanks, guys, for watching. Um, game four will be coming up next. So I'll see you guys then.